my friends, I'm Frankie and welcome to Club Foodie. Year after year, when barbecue season is officially here, David and I fire up the grill and cook many different meals. Some are fancy, while others are just great grilled comfort foods like hamburgers and hot dogs. Now, when you make your own buns or rolls, these basic meals are suddenly elevated. In today's episode, I'll show you how to make my hot dog rolls. This is an easy recipe that obviously tastes better than the ones from the store. Because I also make my own sausages, I can make these rolls the size I need for my links. So my friends, let's get cooking! In the bowl of a stand mixer, we'll combine yeast, granulated sugar, and warm water. Not hot, otherwise it will kill the yeast. We'll give a quick stir and let it sit for 15 minutes or until it gets foamy. Meanwhile, we'll prep the dry ingredients. In a medium bowl, we'll add all-purpose flour as well as bread flour and ground sea salt. We'll whisk the ingredients until well mixed. Next, in a mixing bowl, we'll combine an egg with a quarter cup of melted butter and honey. We'll beat the ingredients well and set aside. All right, so back to the yeast. As we can see, it's alive. So we'll pour in the egg mixture and the flour mixture, but we'll reserve about half a cup. And you'll see why in a few seconds. So with the dough attachment on, we'll process at first on speed 2 for 2 minutes. Then we'll increase to speed 3 and process until the dough clings to the hook. Now this is when we add the reserved flour, 1 tablespoon at a time. And we'll continue adding until it looks like this. Soft, slightly sticky, but not enough to stick to our fingers. And when we touch it, it bounces back. We'll transfer the dough to a lightly floured work surface and with our floured hands, we'll form a ball by pulling it under. See? Just like this. There! Alright, so now we'll transfer it to a large bowl, lightly oiled, and gently roll it around to coat. We'll cover with a clean dish towel and place the bowl in a draft-free area such as the oven of course with the temperature off and we'll let it rise for two hours when time is up our dough should have doubled in size so we'll punch it down to deflate it and transfer it to our lightly floured work surface we'll sprinkle a little flour on top roll it while pressing down to remove any air bubbles we'll stretch it to a rectangular shape about 16 inches long by 5 inches wide. Using a bench scraper, we'll cut in half, then each half in half, and finally half again. It makes 8 large buns, but you can also make the width of the rectangle smaller and the length longer to make 12 smaller buns. It's up to you. Alright, so we'll take one piece and flip it top side down. We'll tuck the ends in, see, just like this. And then we'll take the sides, bring them in, and pinch them together. See? Pinch, 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 pinch. <laughs> then we'll flip it again and gently finalize the shape. As long as the buns are all about the same size, right? So we'll place it on a small baking sheet lined with a silicone mat or parchment paper leaving a small gap between each bun. Next, we'll brush them with the remaining two tablespoons of melted butter, making sure to brush in between, so it will be easier to pull them apart later after they're baked. So when they're nicely coated with butter, we'll cover them with a clean dish towel and place them in the same draft-free spot for a second rise of one hour. Ensure that the towel is not tucked under, otherwise the buns will have a problem rising. Because of course we want nice fluffy hot dog buns. Again, 
will let them rise for one hour. So, 60 minutes later, they should have doubled in size again. Look at them, exactly the way we want them to be. We'll go ahead and set the oven to 375 degrees Fahrenheit, and when it's ready, we'll bake them for 18 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. We'll remove from the heat and let them cool off before separating them. Now what I like to do is to place the buns on a wire rack to dry out the bottom. Then slice them and serve. And my friends, these are our hot dog buns. Soft and delicious with a hint of sweetness, these buns are simply amazing. They taste much better than the ones from the store. Plus, how cool is it to make your own buns? It will definitely elevate your hot dogs this summer. I hope you give it a try soon and be sure to visit clubfoodie.com for ingredient amounts and more info. Until next time, my friends, bon appétit! Thank <laughs> you.